on is 4 and 13. Paul gives us these words. He said, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you saw not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, <coughs> even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this was say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then which we are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. And I won't try to add no bunch of nothing to it, but that plainly tells us that we followed him to our just as far as we can go. He's done all he can do and we've done all we can do. But there'll come a day after a while when he'll ride the clouds on a white horse. Yes. And he'll come back to get us. Yes. And tights will rise before we do. So he said, comfort ye one another with these words. I won't never see him no more on this side. Neither will you. He won't never come to no more revivals where I preach. But there's one thing about it. When we sat down around the table with Abraham, Isaac, <laughs> and Jacob, He'll have a place, mm -hmm. and it'll be his. Yes. May God bless all of you. And I think some of them, some of the family want to have something to say. Then we'll turn it over to Brother Leroy. Any, any of the family want to say anything, or any, any friend want to say yeah. anything, you're welcome to. Brother Winston, I want to say something. Come on, Bill. Brother Wright was one of the good friends that I ever had. Good member of the church when I was over the south side. I was thinking the other day, he wasn't a very big man in statue, but it'll take an awful big man to fill his shoes. Yes. When he prayed, it wasn't to be heard, it was coming from his heart. And when he testified, it wasn't to be seen, it was coming from his heart. I feel like I've lost a prayer warrior that was praying for me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? I like to say, uh, well, there's a whole lot I could say about my grandpa, and I'm afraid it's take more time than we got. Yeah. But he loved everybody. Yes. And he talked about all of y'all from the stories I've sat around and listened, <clears throat> and he had a lot of good things to say. And I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking for the day that I can meet him by the river. Amen. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to see you there too, Brother Winston. <laughs> and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to meet again. Amen. And I'm going to miss him. Yeah. He was.